Hello everybody, me Sam Swarth Trains and more here and back with another vlog. Behind me is the Crew Heritage Centre, we've got the APT behind me. And then in this vlog, I'm going to give you a bit of a tour of the whole Heritage Centre because I'm here for the Rail Riders 2023 event. I am on the Saturday. I am. And then there's some different exhibition stands as well in that hall, as well as all the uh, regular stuff. And there's been some guest locos and stuff like that for the Rail Riders event. I will put some link and information to the Rail Riders and uh, Crew Heritage Centre website in the description, but enjoy this tour of the Heritage Centre for the Rail Riders event. Right, to start off, for the uh, shuttle buses, they actually do have one of these uh, Heritage buses, which is very, very cool. Damn buses, but they are quite cool buses, so I'm going to uh, get a few shots of these. Look, look at how retro they are. That's what brought me in from the uh, Crew Railway Station. And then we've got this one over here, we have for everyone for everyone uh, rail riders which is very very cool just kind of remind me like one of them old london buses in fact it is london ex ex yeah, yeah. london transport executive executive that's the word i was looking for we'll get there eventually <laughs> looks very very cool i'm going to get a picture of the front i am let's get a picture of the front Right, before we explore most of the uh, Crew Heritage Centre, the uh, Flying Scotsman's actually due, it's on a London Euston do Chester run. It's, it's due to depart at uh, 11.25. So uh, I did actually see it actually on my uh, way here at Rugby this morning, but I'm going to get some line size shots of it. I'm probably not going to be able to get a photo of the camera because uh, um, you can't, I can't really get the lens through the, uh, the, for the, through the fence, but my phone's smaller, so uh, I should be able to get it through. Right, so now the steam train's gone through, the Flying Scotsman. It had a 47 on the back of it as well. We've got to show you around the Heritage Centre. We will see the Scotsman again, if all goes to plan, half an hour before I get the train home at quarter to five. It's gone up to Chester, and then it's going to stay there before coming back down. Anyway, I'm going to go on the APT now and show you the, the uh, APT, because it's a really, really cool train. You can actually go inside of it too. So here we have the world-famous APT. 
Advanced Passenger Train, that's what APT stands for, Intercity. And it's even got like specially built track here as well, which is very, very cool. So I'm gonna uh, get a photo of it in a second. I'm just gonna let this man uh, finish taking a photo of, uh, of it. And then I'm gonna uh, have a look inside for you guys as well. But uh, I'll show you the outside just briefly. Yeah, very, very cool. First time seeing it up close in per person. And I've seen it loads of times when passing on the train heading up north from cruise station. I have. Right, the interior of the APT. Oh, it's warm in here. I thought it might be cool in here, but it's just as warm as it is outside. Look at the old orchid space. Right, I've got I've got to try out one of the seats whilst I'm on board. So let's try out. Uh, let's try it here. This one here. Mm, not too bad. Well, there goes the heritage bus. I've uh, seen comfier seats actually. Let me try the extra leather seat. This one might be a bit better. Yeah, reasonably padded. Lots of tables on these ones as well. Very, very cool. Right, so this would have been the old, oh, hello. Damn, they got a blooming statue. That freaked me out at first. This would have been the old buffet car. That's very, very cool. It's still got like some original like snacks and stuff there. Damn, that was a country rap I used to like back in the day. He is freaky as hell. <laughs> and that's the old tail. I don't think there's any money in there. Look at all them uh, old Pepsi cans and beer, stuff like that. Very, very cool. And that would have been the kitchen. Right, so presumably this would have been first class. The seats are the same padded from standard class, though, or second class. To be honest with you. But yeah, these doors don't open. And then. Uh, Oh, uh, use of the public address system. Oh, so this is how they're used to uh, speak to like control and that. That's cool. Some of the buttons. And obviously we can't go in the cab that way, but I think we can go in the cab the other side. So I'll have a look. It's a bit of a wait if you want to have a look in the uh, cab. It is. Supposedly that APT was supposed to be tilting at some point today. I'm not sure what time it's supposed to be doing now. I suppose I can look online. I think 1.30 potentially actually for that. So I wonder if that does happen. If it does, I'll make sure I get some footage of that. Now that's what you call a cute looking train. I've got to go get a picture of that. Very, very cute. Another one here as well. That's another cool one as well. We've got a HST here, Intercity 125, the Red Cross, which is 43018. Get a nice uh, photo of that one. Very, very cool. You can actually also have a look inside this one as well. If it's not busy, I might do. And then we'll get a picture of the 68 in a minute, which is 68034. And they actually named this Rail Riders 2020. I did film the plaque ceremony earlier on in the uh, vlog. I did. I'll get a nice photo of this one. This one is the, uh, yeah, this one is the rail ride, the 68034. And over here we do have 86247. Can we have a get look inside the, uh, inside? Very, very cool. Let's see if we can go around the back end up. Uh, oh, there's. Nah, I can't get around now. Hang on. Oh, there we are. Now will get a shot of the inside. Yeah, we do have a uh, miniature railway here. I'm not sure. I don't think it's actually in operation today. I have seen them like on it, but yeah, I don't think it's open to the public. You got the uh, some some of the carriages there. It doesn't look very comfortable to sit on. I must admit. Now that's what you call a retro fire brigade car. <laughs> fire fire brigade Harlow. Very very cool. Uh, what's the inside like? Ooh, nice. Not sure if that's uh, oh, there we are. 
that's cool that over here is the turntable for the uh, miniature railway very very cool Reaction for you from the Heritage Centre. Now that's a very, very cool crew sign which says a quarter of a mile. That's very, very snazzy. That is. Now that's what you can call some very, very cool controls. You can even see the lights on it. That's cool. I don't think that one's working though. As you walk underneath the old signal box, you still, you've got all these signs, Manchester, Stockport, uh, Hale, and then celebrating 10 years, Edinburgh, Durham, Nutsford, Stuff Garland, Northwich, Delmar, Chester, there's even a Chester Zoo one, and in fact a few Chester Zoo one. Oh, it's a giraffe, my favorite animal. And then let's just go through here. Right, and now you've got some, some of the old semaphore signal uh, equipment, which is really, really cool. I'm gonna get a photo of that. And then uh, London North Western Railway calling on signal. Very, very cool. These haven't been used for a very long time. That is cool. There's another set here as well. Very, very cool. And then you do have some uh, model trains here as well. That's cool. It's not moving. Let's get a photo. Westy Road. I like these little cute model railway displays. We got another one here as well. Steam Loco 408045. It's very, very cool. Now these are really, really cool. You can even see uh, that's a bit up. That's cool, man. That is. Damn. Obviously, don't touch any of this stuff. That's what we're in the North Junction replay signal box. North Junction signal box. It's on. Got all these uh, reflux. I think you can actually buy, yeah, you can. You can buy these ones. That's cool. I'm looking at stuff you can buy already and I haven't even done the other bitch yet. <laughs> Well, I've come up to the uh, upstairs in the uh, signal box and you can see uh, the uh, crew to Chester line and then uh, down there is a uh, crew station. Seems quite close by but it's actually a good 15 minute walk and the uh, shuttle bus took about 10 minutes because we also got a bit stuck, stuck in a bit of traffic. But yeah that's the uh, crew to Chester line. Been up that quite a few times now. Right now, the uh, views from this side. This is the uh, main West Coast Main Line. That way up towards Scotland, and then right, that way via crew that, back down towards uh, London. Sorry. Oh, there's a point out the window back down there. It's crew station, and that's actually where I stood when it got the uh, Sir Nigel Grisby a few weeks ago. That's a model of crew North Junction. Oh, that 197's back. More DR signals. So you've done that one. So now we're going to 
now you do 184, crossing down slowly down fast. Give it a little bit of slack. So that was the inside of the uh, signal box. I was in there for about 15 minutes because I thought I'd have a quick sit down as well. And then I'm now, I'm not, I'm not going to get food here to be honest with you because I think it might be a bit expensive. There's actually a Tesco, a Tesco Extra. I can hear a 350 in the background, but down there somewhere. I'm going to go to the Tesco and get a meal deal or something like that for me. I haven't. I am before finishing off up here down them bits I haven't done yet and I haven't been in the uh, exhibition hall either hope you can actually see me in this clip for the sun I just had a spot of lunch in this uh, hut here and I went and bought some more bottles of water from that Tesco as well meal deals have gone up in price they're even on the cup car price anyway I'm going to probably go down to the uh, exhibition hall in a minute and have a look down that end of the heritage centre because I've pretty much done this end now I have and it is uh, about one o'clock I think it is this place is open till 5 and I can't get the train home until 5.13, which is fine. Right, I'm going to move to... Uh, hello, sir. Can you both turn on? No, it's sadly coming. Why not? Does it not work? Because the engine's not in. Yeah. Right, and you need the air pressure from the engine to the... Look, look at the AWS sunflower. You see that fire alarm? No, I'm not 100% sure what marked carriages these are, but 82118 is here. Now, I actually have no clue what this is. 1023. Is it a tram? Is it an old train? I honestly don't know. But whatever it is, no, it's what is ah, It's an old Metrolink tram. That's, that's really old that is. That's cool. That's really old. Seeing the word virgin definitely brings back memories. 87035. Although I didn't actually see this livery for virgin because I, I wasn't around in like the late 90s. I was born in 2002. But this is Robert Burns. But it's really, really cool seeing a local like this. It is. Let's get a better view of the front. Oh, there's the front. Very, very cool. I'm gonna get a picture of that now. Right, I'm not sure if this is a 37 tractor or 97, probably 37. But either way, it's very, very cool. But it's also right next door, a freight line uh, class 86 in the form of 86622. So I'm gonna get a photo of that one too. That's very, very cool. We've got a class 47 down here, 47830. Okay, what's the name of this one? Oh, try not to get people's shots. Although it's a bit hard with the amount of people. Uh, Beach is a legacy. Very, very cool. Now that's a really cool loco that is. I'll get the number for you. Let me get a photo. This loco right here is. 03073 and that's the back of it that's that's cool we've got what was one's a class 91 down there but it's been totally stripped it has i can hear that 197 again in the background it has been totally uh, stripped it has you can still see where the old pantograph was though now this is what you call an interesting piece of signaling equipment. This would have probably would have done the points for that track. I like how they've got like real life track just like uh, all around the heritage centre. And then over here we have 43081, what once was a EMR HST. But I've also noticed it's got like virgin trains with like carriages on the back of it. So I'm going to go uh, film them in a second for you. So these are the old version trains carriages I'm talking about. That would have been Coach G, which would have been a first class carriage. And then I wonder what this one on the back is. Let's go uh, walk around here and have a look. Oh, this would have been Coach A, it would have been. Which would have been the quiet coach. I, I, you might be able to get on, get on these, you know, actually. I might go around and have a look in a second if you can get on them. 
not the railway related this one but that's what you call a classic lantern that's really cool not sure what that is that's covered but you've got some quite old looking uh, carriages down here you have and then uh, there's some up there as well let's see if I can get a bit closer but I don't think I can because I think I'm at the boundary of the heritage centre now to be honest with you I think down there is the furthest I can go I can go up here and get a closer look I can but that's the furthest I can go so that's the big Tesco I was just in that's the furthest I can go to have a look at them carriages I mean, you've got another semaphore signal. This one's actually still up and it's actually lit. That's cool. Right, I think this is going to be the only opportunity I'm going to get to save this, but let's stand on some rails. Stood on them, because obviously don't do that on real life track, but because this, this is um, disused heritage track that's not getting used, I can do that. Just thought I'd put a disclaimer out there. All right, so this is inside the uh, cruise station A uh, signal box. I'm not sure if the uh, if the uh, levers actually are still working. Nah, they're very very cool. And then yeah, this is just line from the heritage centre. Back down there is the uh, cruise Chester line. So this is some re-railing equipment, that's cool. Right, and down here we have a DB class 66 shed. This is 66175. It is. Which is named Rail Rides Express. I think that's just for the event. They're very, very cool. So it's just after that's one. And this was the time that it was booked out that APT was supposedly supposed to be tilting. Now we've did the, uh, the flap up, but it's had the number on 370003. But uh, I definitely think it's going to be, unfortunately, which is a shame. Right, before we go into the uh, exhibition hall, there's a few stools outside that I'm going to have a look at. I am. You can buy some signs. Premier DVD V Tower videos to get seen. So, this is good. We've got loads of DVDs here. I feel like I've already got a few of these though, because I know I've got a few on my shelf at home. But these do look interesting. Got a guide for the Rail Riders 2023 event. You do get given a wristband, and you can't, and you can go in and out whenever you please. And this was actually free from the video scene school Steam and Diesel DVD catalog. So that's interesting. Yes, so I'm definitely going to get that from a collection at home. It looks like we've got a school here with mugs and some signs. We do, which is very very cool. We've got two of a train sign on way out. That Tuba Trains one is actually uh, that was quite cool. I might actually consider getting that one or the way out one. I might get that one actually. You've also got some mugs, you do. What mugs have we got? Oh, we've got a Mind the Gap one, some travel ones as well. That's cool. And then uh, if I just go around here. Got some more bits and bobs. 
So that's cool. That, 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 that's a flashback. A Virgin Trains Pendolino mug. You can even get uh, some uh, Thomas the Tank Engine fridge magnets. And they've got DVDs and stuff over there too. Well, this is the CLG Class 58 locomotive version. And I've got a few things. A shirt. Some train cars, a pin badge. So that's the price list. Now we've got some really old signs in here. We do. These are cool. And there are some of the sponsors as well. Oh, that one's been sold. That's cool. These are all the different tracks. Neville Hill, I think I remember that one actually. That's cool. For everyone's information, if you're getting the bus back to Crew Station, there there's a bus time so we're in a uh, from here. I don't know why I'm saying that because I'm not sure. I don't think this event's going to be here next year, but uh, because this vlog's actually going to be out after the vlog, uh, after the event's finished on Sunday. But I'm just thought I'd put the information in anyway. We've got an old wheel here. That's cool. I like the classic tuba trains. Uh, heritage sign there that's really cool well i'm now inside the exhibition hall and i'm gonna have a look around here there's like loads of different uh there's some loads of model railway layouts and there's loads of different stands as well i have also spotted my uh, my eyes on two items which i probably will purchase but i'm not going to purchase them until i'm probably going to get the 20 to 4 bus back to uh the uh crew station and then that'll give me about an hour and a half before my train because uh, I want to go see obviously the Scotsman on the return because that's due to go through crew again at uh, quarter to five and my train's at 17.13 They do have some items of this stand, Bishop's trains and, the, and I do have my eyes on this map that map there I, I know it's on the line but uh, I actually kind of want one from a wall so I'm actually considering getting one but I'm not going to get um, now I'm probably going to get it at the end probably do a lap or two that's the cheap wee arms pub. Very, very cool model of that. They do have some very wide as merchandise as well. They've got a few yan yards, and then some bags, and then some hats. I have seen a few people wearing them hats actually. I do. And then there's some key rings as well, and some pin badges. You can even get a shirt as well. That's cool. And look at the uh, carriage on the track. Like we've got all the uh, different locos lined up down there. I will get we'll go down the corner in a minute and get some better shots of the model railway. Right, this rail is uh, Tit Harridge Junction, Bradford Model Railway Airway Club. I like the different vehicles on it as well. That's cool, very clever and the senior around the tracks. Well, this one's going now. Got stuck. <laughs> well, it's filmed going underneath the uh, tunnel. Cute teddy bear. Well, you can even go in one of these uh, trains, get one of these road clothes on the Crew Heritage Centre. Let's have a look uh, inside. That's the inside of the, uh, the cab. Right, you've got all the Hornby model trains here as well. They are quite similar prices to when I was at Wari. They have. You can get, you can actually join the rail riders for a year membership and you get actually early access you do to some of the events and also uh, discounts on some of the merchandise as well, which is really, really cool. I'm not a uh, 
rail rider member. I've paid full admission to come in here today because it's two pound cheaper for rail rider members. That's the version trains one two five forty three zero six three. That's cool. And there, there are some different ones here down here. Some containers, wagons, and then uh, come down here. You've also got some. Uh, we well, got some DB ones as well. Very very cool. We're oh, in GBF sixty six seven two five. Then a few of us. Oh, and you can even buy the flying Scotsman for £125. Right, the next model railway is Keen Systems. And then, then let's have a look at this one then. They also sound them as well. Here's the uh, 28th stand. Now, they're in no particular order this tour, but this is Micro Cement. That's cool. Maybe yeah. obviously you've got this thing. Yeah. Well, that's in a pizza box. Pepperoni. Right, here's a Talford Steam Railway stand, and they've got a few locos down there. They have. Cool. There's a different CD box as well. Oh, they've even got some little teddies and mugs and some glasses too as well. Right, on stand 35 you've got loads of different books you can buy. I've got a few books at home. That's cool. Class 66 book as well. And so a DR68021 in that book. Yeah. Very, very cool. There are some other model railways there, so we shall have a look at. Ooh, this one's the uh, Great Western Railway layout, number 36. So we've got a, we've got a pacer. Everyone's favourite. Oh, it's moving. We've also got a pretty uh, 158. We've also got a DB, 66, that's not 66 right, that's a 60. And then you've got some 150s, the Great Western 150, they're actually all with Northern now actually. I love the little, uh, little vans as well, now. that's cool. You've also got the little model network rail van. We're leaving the London Transport Museum class 20. 20042 I think that is. And I actually saw that that was uh, connected to uh, the Pro Express Cun Castle back in December in real life. It was. Maybe if editing sound remembers they'll put a card in the uh, corner of the screen. Rail cams also come to the uh, rail riders that crew. Over 100 live UK cameras. They do actually have a camera. I think it's number two here at uh, Crew actually. We've got some uh, merchandise though down here. In fact, there's some cameras actually. And some hats as well. And then some shirts over there. Look at that bike there. That's cool. Damn, remember, remember them days when a uh, crew was run by Virgin Trains? That's like a classic sign now, but that was like four years ago. It's been a vanty now. It is. Right, we've got Join the Shop Steel Foundry. We have. That is a really classic heritage sign. Very, very cool that is. Right now, we've got this thing, and I'm not sure what this is. I actually have no idea what this is, but uh, there also is uh, this uh, model as well, which is cool. And then uh, that one is the uh, Queen Park Paravan, that is, so that's cool. 
Right, this stand is Plum Tree Works. Got some cool you models on here. Really you didn't be seeing the local on the first truck, um, couldn't you? Yeah, so back in the day, we've We've got the new Milton Shore display here. This stand here is Ford and Hill Oscars Railway. Uh, this is stand 12, this is the uh, rail images collection. So some great images here. I wish I had the photography skills like this, I'll tell you that one for sure. I've been trying to practice them over the years, but still, I'm okay, but not the best when it comes to taking photos, to be honest with you. I can take photos easier when, for example, the locomotive is like stood still. When it's moving, it's quite hard for me to take a photo. You've also got some old railway magazines down there as well, which is cool. From 1970, some of them were. Now that's a classic item. Northwest, sorry, Northeastern Railway platform tickets. That's very, very cool. Let me zoom out so I can take a photo. We're at stand number 14 now, Museum of Transport. I like the little turntable there. I can't have a model railway about some of the uh, Thomas and Friends there. Uh, I just love the details as well. Oh, we've got one coming down this way. Well, I've just stepped outside a minute just for some fresh air. I say that because it's still warm out here. Surprisingly, none of these thunderstorms that have been going on about, hopefully they hold off until I'm home, or if not tomorrow when I'm not here. Uh, but I did actually enter the raffle, and I'm number 275. And I was actually confused because I was asking the uh, nice lady in there, when's it being drawn? Because obviously I'm going home in about an hour. And uh, she said three o'clock tomorrow, but she said that's not a problem because what they're doing is for the people that aren't there, they obviously phone you. So she's taking my name and my phone number. I mean, obviously, if I win, they contact me, and there's some pretty good prizes actually as well. There is. I do like to uh, give my nice donation as well. It was a pound per ticket. It's a little bit quiet in the gift shop compared to what was earlier. There's some uh, stuff. Books, some more uh, badges, and magnets. That's cool. And then obviously you've got some uh, model trains as well, and wagons. And then also some uh, more books here, and all the uh, there's a. Uh, I'm not sure. If there's oh, there's a bit of Hornby as well, and also Route Master bus. That's cool. Right, I'm back in the exhibition hall. 
did make a purchase. I bought that to, to, to the train there sign I was showing everyone earlier. I'm not sure if I did fully show you it, so I might uh, show you it uh, in a minute. Well, not in a minute, when I get home. Got the model signs, uh, picture writing and tool stand. These LEDs, that's cool. And you've got the uh, interior of a cross country HST. Carriages. Right, this is the uh, Penna Rain GMD stand. Metro. <laughs> We've got class 69 and that's another class 37 with a few sheds as well we've got a 90 Right, this one is DOS Gresty Bridge Depot. Right, We've got a shed coming down. I think that is a 68 over there as well, actually. What have we got parked up down here? 37. We've got some 88s, actually. That's cool. No, that's a 68, sorry. I always get confused with them too because one, the 88 is electric and the 68 is obviously a diesel loco. Diesel loco. Very cool way out. Now this display is Ruffles Road. Fretwood and District Model Railway Show. Under the 37 down here. Final uh, stand is the uh, UK departure boards. I've always seen them, but I've never got one. But that one's on. Uh, that one's on the going down pendant. Uh, we've also got the uh, Docklands Light Railway. And we've got some uh, smaller ones Left down here. We've got Crystal Parkway, Abbey Wood, Crystal uh, Wedding. That's cool. And that's obviously that's the program software. And we've got Romley down here. Network Rail 37. The APT is coming round, so I'll get the APT. So, everyone, that was a grand tour of Rail Riders 2023 at the Crew Heritage Centre. This is probably like the, one of the first vlogs you see me with like a professional camera roll. Uh, but I do hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you guys do give me a big thumbs up if you had. Comment down below, some feedback would be appreciated. I'd love to know some thoughts and feedback is always appreciated from you guys. And if you want to become a channel member, prices start at 199. There's a link down in the description below. I'm just waiting for this uh, shuttle bus back to cruise station now. 
subscribe to the channel if you're new it would be help me out we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers asap have the bell for all notifications so you don't miss any future videos or live streams you never know i might be attending some more events over the summer months and uh towards the back end of the year it always seems about the second half of the year where the events all seem to kick in right take care everybody bye all guys peace out